So we're looking at the right side of the feeder house now. And the important thing here is our feeder house drive chain. Uh, now, obviously making sure this is tensioned and tensioned to spec is important, but what's unique is we've also got the speed adjustment of the feeder chain relative to the head speed. In a lot of our conditions, uh, guys are running on the slower speed, which will be the smaller sprocket here. Uh, and that's gonna be sufficient for a lot of our corn and soybean conditions. Uh, if you're running wheat, small grains, uh, any, anything like that, that's where, think about it this way. If you're running a really high rotor speed, you might also think about feeding the feeder house chain up relative to that just to help with the crop flow. So the standard sprocket here, you can just adjust between the high and the low size there. Most guys run it on the slow. If you're doing any food grade corn uh, or just seed quality is very important to you, there is an alternate sprocket you can put on. It's a 16 and 22 tooth, but that's available through parts and that will slow this feeder house chain down even more compared to factory. So especially if you're doing food grade or any um, edible beans, things like that, that can help in those conditions preserve that grain quality. And that sprocket, add a couple points there, that sprocket gets overlooked a lot. Um, it, there's way more importance to that than a lot of people give it credit for, mainly because this is setting the, the tone for your crop speed, how the material's entering the machine. So if you're running it too fast when you have a little crop volume, well now that crop's not feeding in the rotor correctly, or vice versa. You're running it too slow, well now that rotor's just grabbing and ripping stuff out of there when it should be having a steady constant mat. So uh, there are some grain loss, uh, grain quality issues that can come back to that sprocket setting. So a lot of times guys will do a lot of different settings on the machine itself where a little setting like that can make some of a difference too for the issues that you're having. So also important to think about, we'll talk about the feed accelerator here in a second, but if guys are changing speed on the feed accelerator, don't forget about this and make the necessary adjustments to keep nice, mm -hmm. consistent crop flow going all the way up, depending on your settings, like you said. So obviously to adjust this, you've got two sprockets here that are putting tension on that chain. Uh, tension it to the spec in your operator's manual, but just remember that this is an important component of the combine.